everyone and welcome back to another wedding dress reveal. Don't mind my voice, I'm getting over a cold so that's why it's sounding a little bit funny. So let's get right into it and open up our wedding dress. Okay, here it is here. Oh, looks like an A-line. Alright, this is a crepe. Beautiful. Okay, this one's really interesting because it's got a ruffle skirt. So occasionally I do ruffle skirts like this. They're not as popular as they used to be um, uh, quite a few years ago. But we also do something called horsehair. And so if you know anything about garment construction, there is this uh, material that it's, it's got nothing to do with horsehair and it actually has no relation to horse's hair whatsoever. But what it is is it's a stiff netting, like a stiff chawl netting that we put underneath the edges of the skirt and what it does is it creates volume see the fullness in the skirt we're going to steam it and give it a good um, steam and we can actually see what it will look like but basically this one has got a matte satin on top which is really quite pretty um, this girl's quite tall so it's quite a large gown uh, but you can sort of see here, it's got a nice, beautiful, wide scoop, um, close to a boat neck on the top. And then we've got three quarter sleeves in like a matte uh, fabric. The back has got covered buttons all the way down. And then it goes into this organza and chul ruffle skirt. There's also buttons that go all the way down the skirt. Let's put this on a hanger. So we're gonna have give this a little bit of a steam so we can actually have a look at it properly. Three thousand miles from home, trying to say that I will get there soon. Thirty days I walk down this way, singing my madness to the moon. I met a cat on a tree. And it talked to me about things we don't see I asked it how do I know which is the right way to go To get me home And it said don't look for a reason, don't look for another way Now that I've steamed the dress I hope you can actually see how beautiful this skirt is the organza skirt is just beautiful. It really cascades down the back and the front. You can sort of see the layers in the skirt and if you look closely, you'll see that it's basically how um, we've created this skirt and how it's been sewn together to create this waving effect that actually goes down um, the skirt. I think this top really complements this skirt because it adds such contrast um, without it being too floaty. It really anchors the dress down, um, but yet there is this fairy tale, beautiful light element um, to this to this skirt. Now we have made this not extremely full. Um, and we have done that deliberately, but this can be blown out to a ball gown skirt um, or it can be even slimmed down to a sheath silhouette. So really, really lovely. I'm, I'm really happy with how this skirt turned out because I think the client is going to love it. Really looking forward to seeing how that looks like on. The back of this dress is very similar to the front. There's basically um, a high, high back with buttons and an invisible zipper as well. Um, and then there are darts in the bodice and buttons that go all the way down. And there is quite a long train with this dress, which you guys will see. But there's the beautiful buttons that go all the way down as well. So to give you a little bit of construction here, we'll go from top to bottom. In the back, we've got an invisible zipper closure with covered buttons, and she wanted satin covered buttons to contrast slightly with um, the, the bodice. 
when you open up the bodice we've actually got got a fully boned bodice with padding as well um, and we normally have a bra strap in this and that's what I will also add um, as part of this gown that's our structure there in the bodice so fully boned with padded cups and there will be a bra strap and then in the skirt we've got multiple multiple layers of organza with the hairline trim which basically this is the inside of the dress this is where the clients feet will actually um, sit and then we've got so that's the outer layer there the matte satin which is lined then we've got layers of chul to add a little bit of volume and then um, we've got the organza layer with the hairline trim all over in a rippling effect so there's multiple multiple layers of that I really hoped you enjoyed this reveal, a bit of a different dress to a lot of the other gowns that are going out at the moment. Um, and I love doing gowns that are different because I know that it's going to suit the customer because they've gone outside of the trend or outside of the fashion of wedding dresses and they've chosen something that is truly um, uniquely them. So. I'm dying to see this on the client. Um, I think she's going to be really impressed. I think it looks absolutely stunning, really simple, um, but elegant and breathtaking at the same time. Please let me know if you liked this dress, if you'd like to see something different. I get many gowns in every single week, and if you want me to actually showcase something in particular, just let me know and I can always do a video on it. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button below and also the little bell icon so you can be notified when I upload a new video. But I do everything from gown reveal videos to design as well as lifestyle videos on uh, my life as a fashion designer. I hope you enjoy that video and I will see you next time.